are heading to a final frame decider. Getting your money's worth <laughs> from this one. <laughs> uh, Rob, Walker's, Rob Walker's certainly excited in there in that commentary box. <laughs> well, I think we all Dom are. It's great drama. I think Dominic will be a little bit worried. <laughs> 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 but it was a masterclass there from Ronnie, wasn't it? Oh, look, you know, that, that break was just top draw. Absolutely. I mean, you know, it don't get any better than that. You'd, at a time where if he missed one ball, he could be out of the event, you know, the event could be gone for him. That break was one of the best breaks you're ever going to see at any time. Mm. I mean, he's, he's in a bit of trouble here. It's gone wrong. He's not on the black, but some of the shots he pulled off in this break, I mean, this was top quality. You know, you, could, you can't eulogise high enough about how well Ronnie has played in this particular frame, but, you know, showing so much character and bottle here. I mean, we've, we've seen him do it in the semi-finals of the World Championships against Selby when he 16-14 down. Uh, here's another wonderful positional shot of three cushions and almost to the millimetre to be on this red. I mean, that was just an incredible break and uh, showing a lot of character, a lot of bottle. And uh, one of the best century breaks that he's certainly he's ever made, I would yeah. say. But that quality, I suppose, has been sporadic, hasn't mm. it, throughout this match? I mean, he wouldn't have conceded eight frames had it not been. Well, we just said, you know, he missed the pink the frame before, which was a gimme, really, and that was his chance to go ahead. He lost the frame from it. And then to knock a break in like that when his, his back is right up against the mm. wall, I mean, that, that's, that's just frightening by anybody's standard. Yeah. It's almost like sometimes he can, he, he's one of these players, uh, and that's why we call him a genius, because it's almost he can flick a switch, you know, because he can, it looks like you might have him, you know, he, he's, he's bashing the balls around, he gets a little bit frustrated, and you might, and Jordan was probably sitting in his chair saying, I have Ronnie O'Sullivan here, you know, then all of a sudden he flicks a switch, he puts a couple of balls, he, okay, he got a little bit of luck when the red went over the middle there, but to, to continue on and make that break in the manner he did at such a crucial stage of the match, it's just uh, breathtaking. Who's going to be picking up that trophy? Um, I, won't, I won't ask you because it's, you know, we, we've been saying that all day and it's, mm. it's been impossible to answer. We just don't know. But this, we do know, is the frame of Jordan Brown's career so far. Well, it is, you know, but unfortunately it comes down a, really, a toss of a coin in it. It's mm. all, all you can ask in the last frame, mm. all players will say the same. Just please give me a chance mm. that it's in my hands. And then if you don't take it, you know, you've got no one to blame by yourself. There's nothing worse than mm. a final frame. You just don't get the opportunity. Mm. In terms yeah. of the spectacle, as, as a, a final to watch as a neutral, mm. it's been great, hasn't it, to watch? Yeah. I mean, you know, as Rob said, had there been a crowd, they might have... Mm felt privileged to be there to watch that absolutely they would have tore the roof off i think and they would have given these two players a wonderful reception uh you know coming back for this final frame decider it's just a shame that nobody but i'm sure everybody just like us in the studio <laughs> are on the edge of the exactly seats watching right. it in their living rooms and well, fair play to them they're gonna you know uh, wish each other all the best and as, as darren said all you want is just one chance in the final frame and uh, hopefully we'll see uh, both players get a chance. Well, Jordan Brown's been getting used to these final frame deciders, hasn't he? He had a few this week and he's got another win one frame for the win of your life. What an advert this has turned out to be for snooker. Utterly captivating from start to finish. The proven winner or a first-time champion. Oh. Wow. Oh, my goodness me. Jordan was coming to the table there. And there's a wry smile on the face of Ronnie O'Sullivan. What a stroke of luck. At a crucial, crucial moment. That could turn out to be huge. Oh, Rob, that was an amazing fluke at a crucial time. Because if that red doesn't go into the yellow pocket, Jordan Brown has a fabulous opportunity. But now he does Ronnie have a fabulous O'Sullivan. opportunity One. with the Miss Blue from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Well, he, he thought Ronnie had missed it. He was coming towards the table.
One. That is a superb pot in the context of what it means for him and his family. Well, considering he didn't pot a ball in the last frame, had to sit out a total clearance of just 119. Eight. That's one of the lowest total clearances I've ever come across. Nine. I've no idea how Jordan Brown must be feeling here. This must be the most pressure he's ever felt. Well, bear in mind, he'd never been beyond a ranking event quarter-final until the Welsh Open. 16. And that run to the last eight in Germany in itself was a big breakthrough week. Oh, that's a good pop because you can see that Jordan Brown 17. is really feeling it there. He's having a job when he plays a power shot, so keep still. Of side spin on the cue ball just to make sure that cue ball came 24. past the reds, not into them. Oh, this is such a fabulous opportunity for Jordan Brown. Twenty-five. It's also an inspirational story. This, in the context of what everyone's experiencing at the moment. This is a guy who has stared into some dark places. Contemplated walking away from snooker. Just about okay on that one. 32. He stuck with it. Supported by his friends and those he worked with. Working with Mark Allen. Maintaining that belief, that dedication. One day believing he might have a day and a night like this. 33. Oh, that was a great shot from Jordan Brown. He wasn't nice on that red at all. That's a force through that little cluster there, and he's controlled the pace and the direction of the cue ball to perfection there. 34. Oh, that black wasn't a clean pop, but he's just about got enough backspin on the cue ball. He may not be on the simple red to the left 40. centre. He does have one. You can see this black goes into the side of the pocket. He didn't quite get the backspin he was hoping for. Now he's got a tricky red here into the left centre. The problem is the angle on it isn't good. If he drops it in, he's going to leave himself a very missable black under the sort of pressure that he must be feeling now. Oh, that is absolutely superb. He's left himself in a difficult position, but that was such a tough pot to keep the break going. Yeah, but he'd love to play it again. That cue ball welded to the side cushion. Now, if he pots the blue, how close will he go to the green pocket with the cue ball? Oh, that's a fabulous pot. That is the best shot in this break that Jordan Brown has played. That was a tremendous pop. 46. As he edges, edges towards this moment of history, Dominic, where would this stand in your all-time list of upsets and outsiders coming through for an unlikely victory? It's got to be quite near the top. 47. Well, considering it's the final of a ranking event, it has to be right up there. This is just such a commendable performance from Jordan Brown. Big moments here. He's just about a 24 breakaway here. And being safe. 
people in Northern Ireland didn't know who Jordan Brown was until this week. They do now. He's thinking about buying a new car. And I think he might have a few favourable offers when he gets back home. If he can finish this nerveless clearance and produce the moment of a lifetime. He's close. He's so close. You can see the trophy out the corner of his eye. Well, the hard work's been done. He doesn't need to play any cannons now. As you see, 57 ahead, 75 still remaining. There is that beautiful Ray Reardon trophy, that crystal trophy. That Jordan Brown must have one hand on. Fifty-nine. This is a dream he so nearly walked away from. Pressures of work, pressures of life. He himself said some bad decisions here and there. But something kept him playing snooker. Something kept him believing. Give me a second. Go. Because he one day believed he could reach the top. And he is just about there. This next red is frame, match and championship ball for Jordan Brown. For a piece of history, 65. for him, for his family and for Northern Ireland, this is it. What a journey, 66. what a story. Pinpoint accurate. He'll want to make absolutely certain that O'Sullivan doesn't come back to the table. But there's only 59 left available. What an incredible moment we're witnessing here in the Celtic Manor. This is history and he knows it. 73. Well, I couldn't be happier for him. It's been a fantastic performance all through the championships. He's had to battle past some great players and win a lot of deciding frames, but none of them have been more important than this one here. And Ronnie O'Sullivan, you can see, is appreciative of everything that Jordan Brown's doing here. Not only has he won his maiden ranking title, to do so, He's beaten the greatest player to ever live and pick up a cue. It doesn't matter. Jordan Brown is proof that dreams really do come true. So close to walking away from snooker. They try and tell us we've got no characters left in this sport anymore. But a man who was making his living as a petrol pump attendant five years ago has climbed the mountain, he's beaten the greatest, he's made history for himself and Northern Ireland, absolutely incredible. Jordan Brown is the 2021 Bet Victor Welsh Open champion. What a night for him, what a night for snooker, and what a privilege for all of us to be here witnessing it. Now the tears, now the realisation, that was incredible. Yeah, an absolutely tremendous final. It toed and it froed. You just didn't know who was going to win it. You fancied Ronnie O'Sullivan in the end with his greater experience. Won 37 ranking titles. This man here had never been in a semi-final, let alone a final like this, playing the greatest player this game has ever seen. And I can only say congratulations to Jordan Brown. A monumental performance from him. And Ronnie O'Sullivan, well, it wasn't his day, it wasn't his night but we're going to see a lot more titles lifted by Ronnie O'Sullivan. Absolutely incredible. It deserves a standing ovation. Obviously, we haven't got a crowd, but we hope everybody at home was as enthralled as we all have been here at the Celtic Manor. Absolutely incredible. Ronnie, 
We were living every single second. If you could just reach for the microphone to your right-hand side, we can't come any closer. No hugs today. Mm. Ronnie, you've had some amazing moments in snooker. Ne nearly as amazing as them boots. <laughs> you've had some amazing <laughs> moments, and you will again. Yeah. But you do not begrudge that victory for one single second. What heart he showed tonight. Listen, um, you know, I, I've, I've, had, I've enjoyed every minute of that today. I've had such a fantastic time. Love playing Jordan. He's a great guy. Um, he really is, you know, and I was just, I'm so happy for him to win. I flipped that red in the last frame, and as I see his face, I could just see the disappointment in him. And I was like, you know, I just, I just, what a horrible way if I was to win it, you know. But I'm so happy for him, you know what I mean? He's such a lovely guy and a fantastic player as well, you know. Um, you don't beat Selby, you don't meet the guy. And I played all right today. I played all right, you know, and uh, not many people pl beat me when I'm playing all right. So he's a proper player, you know, so um, fantastic for Jordan. It's his night and uh, you couldn't uh, be happier, you know, for him. So, yeah, it's been great. You have spoken with real grace, the grace of a champion. Ronnie, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe a fifth Welsh Open crown will be yours in future. Jordan Brown, please reach for the microphone. All I want to do is give you a hug. Honestly, we, everybody is so pleased for you. You have made history for yourself, for your family, for Northern Ireland. I'm, I'm, I'm getting choked and I, I can see the, the tears in your eyes. This, this has been an inspirational journey. This has been a fantastic thing that you've done this week for everybody watching at home and for yourself. Yeah, I'm absolutely speechless. I don't really know what to say. First of all, it's an absolute honour to play Ronnie O'Sullivan in the final. He's the greatest of all time, and it's just a privilege and an honour just to play him. Five years ago, when you contemplated walking away, when you were doing those 5.30 shifts in the petrol station, there must have come a time where you thought even your desire and your passion and your dream was too far away. What kept you going? I just always believed myself, you know, I had dark, some dark days in my snooker life, sorry, I had some dark days, but you know, that's what makes you stronger as a, as a player and a person. Just never stopped believing in myself and, uh, you know, all them sacrifices, hard work, you know, I, I was working full time in the pedal station, as you know, but as well as that, I was playing full time snooker as well. Five years ago, I just said to myself, just give it a proper go, because I never really committed myself before that. So, yeah, it's all paying off now. And, and this is a massive moment. For, for Northern Irish sport, let alone Northern Irish snooker. Mark Allen's been sending me text messages in the commentary box. He's virtually had to lie down behind the sofa. He's been so enthralled by every second. You join Mark Allen, Dennis Taylor, and Alex Higgins as ranking event champions for Northern Ireland. That's quite some list, and you're part of that now. Cheers, Ronnie. Yeah, that, mean, that means everything, you know, just to even be in the same bracket as them. You know, it, it's a dream come true. Uh, Northern Ireland, we, we all get behind each other, but particularly my hometown of Antrim, you know, I just want to say thanks to all the guys at Antrim Sports Club. Um, they've been absolutely brilliant, all my family and friends, but there's three people in particular I want to thank. I want to thank Marty Bramwood, my coach. He's been really, he's really turned around my game the last few months especially. Um, Catherine, my girlfriend, she's my absolute rock. I love you, babe. And last but not least, you know, it's from my dad, you know, because He's been the one that stuck by me. You know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be standing here today. Beautifully said. And, and I know they'll have an amazing party ready for you when lockdown has eventually lifted. One thing that everybody has been wondering, how on earth did you manage to keep your emotions and your nerve and your composure under control against this guy in the context in which you just won the match? Um, I was just going out there today because I knew if I was going to get overawed by Ronnie, uh, I wasn't going to win today. So I was just focusing on playing the balls, playing the table and just focusing on my own game. That's what I've been doing all week. I've held it together so well, uh, especially if that's my fifth deciding frame of one. Um, I'm just getting used to the big stage now and, you know, I definitely feel like I belong here. Just finally, uh, Ronnie said this in an interview I did with him yesterday about what a hard year it's been for so many people. There'll be a lot of viewers at home having a tough time for all the obvious reasons. What message can you send to people at home if they are in a dark place like you were a few years ago? What, what can you say to them to make them believe that their dreams can come true, just as yours have done tonight? Yeah, just whatever you do, you know, if, if you want something so bad and you feel like you can achieve it, never give up because 
I, th I think I've shown there this week, you know, anything can be possible if you believe in it. So, yeah, that's the message I'll send out. It's a great winning speech. I can't give you a hug, but let's go for an elbow tap. In just a moment's time, you will step forward for a piece of sporting history. Jordan Brown, you are the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, collecting the winner's medal, prize money of £70,000, the stunning Ray Reardon Trophy, and the title of 2021, Bet Victor Welsh Open champion, the Antrim Ferrari, Jordan Brown! Well, what a wonderful story, isn't it? Even if you're a Ronnie O'Sullivan super fan, you cannot help but feel joy for Jordan at the victory of his life. Remember the name, he joins an illustrious list of legends to win the Welsh Open and lift that trophy. Ronnie himself, John Higgins, Stephen Hendry, so many greats of the game. And is it the, the gateway to greater things for him? He jumps nearly 40 places in the world rankings, 81 to 45, with his first major tournament win. The boy from nowhere is the man in Newport tonight. Final thoughts from Ken Doherty and Darren Morgan. I mean, you know, we were choked up just watching that. Mm. And just just amazing. What a story. Well, you know, it, it, it couldn't happen to a nicer fella. I said all week how nice, nicer guy he is, you know, and uh, he's wore his heart on his sleeve all week. And, you know, he said all week, I believe I, I can win. And even today he said, look, I believe I'm destined to win this. And, and he has. And how great was that to see Ronnie how, how gracious he was in yeah, the yeah, yeah. defeat there. That, that, that was fantastic. A lot, a lot of people don't see the other side of Ronnie, and he's just given us a glimpse of the other side of him there. Yeah. It was a very gracious speech by Ronnie. Yeah. Um, just a shame that the family and the friends aren't there in the crowd. One of those moments where you want to look up and you want to, <laughs> you want to find that face, you want to see your wife, you want to see your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's the way it is at the moment. But I'm sure when it gets back to Northern Ireland, this will yeah. be a massive touch. Well, I'm sure there'll be some party back some in that Andrew Sports <laughs> and Social Club, uh, for sure. And it's rich. It's richly deserved because uh, that was a wonderful victory. I mean, how he held himself together in that break in the last frame. You know, when Ronnie threw everything with the kitchen sink at him, and uh, I'm just so happy. I think we, everybody on the circuit would be so happy for him, and including Ronnie. And Ronnie showed a lot of class and a lot of grace there in his words. You know, when he would have been disappointed losing in the final, but uh, I thought it was class from him. And fair play to Jordan Brown. This could be the step uh, to greater things, and it's his first. Uh, ranking tournament win and hopefully he'll have a few more as well but brilliant performance we'll see Ronnie again I'm sure he's got the world title to defend but um, yeah it could be the the gateway to something bigger for for somebody like uh, Brown couldn't it well definitely you know he's proved he's proved tonight now with winning you know he's a ranking event winner so if he's done it once why can't he do it again you mm. know and uh, Ronnie's you know proved today in part of how well he's he's queuing and playing with, with some of the shots and some of the breaks that he's made today. He's had three centuries today, mind. You know, he's lost the match, but he's still yeah. had three centuries. He's, uh, he's in good form. Yeah. yeah. And um, the week as a whole, yeah. it's not difficult to put on a, it's not easy to put on a Stuka tournament in, in these times in lockdown, no. but it's been, a, it's been a great week here at I think it's been a, I think it's been a brilliant week and a, a fitting end as well. And I don't know about working in a petrol station, but after his <laughs> check today, he might end up owning a petrol <laughs> station. So uh, I think it's a, it's, a great, it's a great fitting story. It just shows you that when you put in the hard work, uh, you can achieve anything. And as he said, you know, dreams do come true, and it's a fantastic story for Jordan. Brown. What a week we've had. The next live action on the BBC is the World Championship as Ronnie returns to defend his title. Coverage starts Saturday, the 17th of April at 10 a.m. on BBC Two. Um, thank you very much, Darren and Ken, for being with us. Thank you as well for your uh, company this week. It's uh, Golden Brown then as Jordan beats the godfather of the game. One of the greatest shocks we'll ever see. Bye for now.